हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू अवर ट्वेंटी फिफ्थ लेक्चर एंड दिस लेक्चर इज बेस्ड ऑन इंटरप्शन ऑफ कैपेसिटिव करंट दिस लेक्चर इज जस्ट एक्सटेंशन ऑफ अर्लियर लेक्चर दैट इज इंटरप्शन ऑफ स्मॉल इंडक्टिव करंट दैट इज करंट चॉपिंग टू स्टार्ट विथ वॉट इज द इफेक्ट ऑफ दिस इंटरप्शन ऑफ कैपेसिटिव करंट दिस इंटरप्शन ऑफ कैपेसिटिव करंट causes very high voltage transient across the gap of the circuit breaker because of that there may be insulation failure now when it happens this happens when an unloaded long transmission line or capacitor bank is switched off now we'll see we'll consider electrical circuit of a simple power system this is our supply voltage l is inductance up to the circuit breaker this is our circuit breaker this switch we are consider as a circuit breaker this v, this c is the this c is the stray capacitance of the circuit breaker and voltage across it is vc this cl is a line capacitor voltage across this cl is vcl okay so whatever voltage across this circuit breaker is difference between vc and vcl you got it now because of this interruption of capacitive current this is the our wave form you know capacitive current leads exactly by 90 degree to the voltage this is our current and this is voltage now interruption of capacitance that means we are interrupting a capacitive current and we are interrupting at at natural zero this is our first instant we are considering different instant this is our first natural zero a then this is our second natural zero this is our current na so this a is our first natural zero this you can consider as t1 this you can consider as t2 and then this you can consider as t3 okay you got it this is our current okay and now at this point voltage you can see here it is maximum okay this is positive maximum at this point at this point this is negative maximum at this point here positive maximum okay you can see at point a m is maximum at this point you can consider this point as b this is t2 this is negative maximum here it is positive maximum now we'll see what happens at the instant m at this instant m that means at natural zero at natural zero a current is zero voltage is maximum capacitive current is zero why capacitive current is zero you can see it is different between vc and vcl voltage across this will be v difference between vc and vcl when when circuit breaker contacts when circuit breaker contacts are closed what happens current will flow so current will flow as as this is this will charge up to v max whatever system voltage what is the supply voltage it will charge up to v max this will charge up to v max so both are v max so current will be capacity the current will be zero the current will be zero now here at this point at point a it is maximum it is charge up to v max so this vcl will be charge up to v max this is v max okay now here current is interrupted is current is interrupted but but this this vcl is charge up to v max this vcl is charge up to v max so it will remain charge from m to n from m to n if the interruption occurs the capacitor cl remains charged at the maximum value of system voltage if this interruption occurs means in, if this interruption occurs means what if this if suppose current get interrupted that means our dielectric medium is sufficient to break the arc final extinguishment of the arc then this will remain the cl will remain charged up to this system voltage that means we can withstand this vm okay now after this instant m after this instant m the voltage the voltage across the breaker gap is difference between vc and vcl 
the voltage across the voltage across the breaker gap is the difference between vc and vcl after m it is difference between vc and vcl now at point n at point n at point n you can see you can see here again second natural zero second natural zero while here system voltage is system voltage is negative maximum system voltage is system voltage is negative maximum now as it is vm and system voltage is negative maximum so what will happen difference between that vc and vcl is twice vm twice vm if difference between this the difference between this difference between this gap this will this will become this will become is a negative negative v max this is charge up to positive v max so difference between this will be difference between this two will be two v max now at this at this point rate of rise of restriking voltage is twice of twice of maximum voltage across the context of the circuit breaker now across the context of the circuit breaker we are getting twice v max across the context of the circuit breaker we are getting twice v max into 2 that means four times so across this across this we are getting a four times e max restriking voltage rate of rise of restriking voltage we have derived this relation rate of rise of restriking voltage is twice of e max now this e max is difference between our vc and vcl and this is your twice v max so definitely at this point at this point at this point it is four times four times e max or four times v max this is vm now plus vm this is our plus vm and this four times this is our this is our this is you can see can, sorry sorry this is our minus vm this is your minus vm and four times e max four times v max will give you a restriking voltage of thrice e max that means again it is increased if arc is not extinguished so again voltage is increased from v max to thrice e max now our next now at the instant n at the instant n the voltage across the gap is twice the maximum value of vc if the breaker restrict because of this again if our breaker withstanding capacity is not sufficient arc will restrict if the breaker restrict the voltage across the gap becomes partially zero voltage from voltage falls from twice vc max to twice vc max to zero a severe high frequency oscillations about point s severe high frequency oscillation means rate of rise of restriking voltage is twice of e max so severe high frequency about the four times will occur again interrupted and the capacitor cl at this voltage the capacitor cl at at the voltage minus 3 e max so here here transient voltage the capacitor will charge up to thrice e max so voltage across this capacitor will charge up to initially it is v max now it is thrice e max again charging charging is increasing again now we'll consider next instant we'll consider next zero we are consider this t1 we are consider t2 now we have consider this t3 at this instant at this instant again r get interrupted at this instant again r get interrupted but at this point voltage is plus vm voltage is plus vm capacitor is charge up to three uh, thrice e max this is our plus vm so this plus em plus thrice e max so four voltage bin difference between difference between this vc and vcl is four times the rate of rise of restriking is twice of this voltage so it will be eight e max now to match this to match this eight minus three it will be five e max now capacitor will charge up to five e max that means it goes on increasing if our gap withstanding capacity is not sufficient this this is goes on increasing and this is dangerous so we need to minimize this voltage or we need some 
insulating medium that should withstand this high voltage transients okay so we'll have solution for this we have resistance switching for this we already know that current chopping capacitor current breaking it is a give rise to severe voltages you just now you have seen this creates very high severe transient voltage across the context gap of the circuit breaker consequently this transient voltages can cause flash or on the insulation so such voltages can be minimized using resistance switching okay what is this resistance switching this resistance r is connected across the circuit breaker contact and it is connected in shunt as shown in our circuit diagram okay this resistance is connected in the parallel with the circuit breaker okay because of this that transient is minimized this is our recovery voltage this is oscillatory transient that is rate of rise of restriking voltage twice so it will be minimized using this resistance what is this role of resistance the role of the role of resistance is to minimize the current flowing through it initially what happens this current initially circuit breaker contacts are closed so definitely resistance is low so whatever current will flow through this circuit breaker contacts as circuit breaker contacts start separating so what will happen what will happen is circuit breaker contacts start separating insulating dielectric strength uh, strength is build up so the resistance between these two contacts are increasing so whatever current is flowing through the whatever current fault current is flowing through this resistance whatever the fault current that is flowing through this resistance because this resistance is less than this insulating medium okay so as as soon as this resistance between the two contacts of the circuit breaker is increasing due to insulating medium the current flowing through this is increasing now as it reaches its maximum value till the arc interruption till the arc interruption current will flow through this resistance okay now here because of this the voltage transient voltage transient across this the striking voltage across this contact of the circuit breaker is less because current is dry diverted through this resistance okay when final arc extinction extinguish there is a auxiliary switch connected in between parallel as soon as this contact get opened this auxiliary contact get opened and this r get disconnect this is the role of resistance switching now i will just tell a fixed connection of resistance in parallel with the contact space or arc is called resistance switching resistance switching is employed in the circuit breaker having high pole zero resistance of contact space okay just now i have explained how resistance switching works okay now i will just dictate when a fault occurs the contact of the circuit breaker are open and the arc is stuck between the contacts with the arc with the arc shunted by resistance r a part of an arc is diverted through the resistance this result in decrease of arc current and increase in the rate of deionization of the arc path thus the arc resistance is increased and leading to further increase in the current through the shunt resistance this build up process continue until the current becomes so small that it fails to maintain the arc shown in figure below now the arc is extinguished and the circuit breaker get circuit break then the circuit breaker get interrupted okay look here this is these are oscillatory restriking voltage these are minimized okay and this is damp restriking voltage due to resistance added the the value of resistance we can calculate it is r is equal to the frequency of natural oscillation can be calculated fn equal 1 upon 2 pi under root 1 by lc minus 1 upon 4 c square by c square into r square okay and the value of r required for critical damp system is can be calculated is 1 half under root l by c this resistance switching we can employ also in dc circuit breaker okay now last topic theory of arc of this uh, 
लेक्चर थेरी ऑफ आर्क इंटरप्शन इन डी सी सर्किट ब्रेकर इन डस डी सी सर्किट ब्रेकर यू नो देर इज नो नैचुरल करंट जीरो सो वी नीड फोर्सफुली वी नीड टू वी नीड इन ऑर्डर टू फोर्स द करंट टू जीरो द ब्रेकर मस्ट जनरेट एन आर वोल्टेज अक्रॉस द कॉन्टेक्ट ऑफ द सर्किट ब्रेकर विच इज ग्रेटर देन दी सिस्टिंग वोल्टेज सो वी नीड फोर्सफुल एक्सटेंशन ऑफ दैट आर्क एंड इट इज यूज इट इज बाय द रेजिस्टेंस स्विचिंग रेजिस्टेंस स्विचिंग और कूलिंग और डिसिपेटिंग द डिसिपेटिंग द एनर्जी इन बिटवीन द टू कॉन्टेक्ट ऑफ द सर्किट ब्रेकर बिकॉज इन दिस सर्किट वी डोंट हैव नेचुरल करंट जीरो थैंक यू वेरी मच